the application of technology innovation. That is what the ID Tech Expo is about. It's a unique event being held at the Santa Clara Convention Center on November the 20th to the 21st, which really covers the hottest technologies in one place. That is seven conference tracks in co-location with one large exhibition which covers the entire show. So let's have a look at how that's broken down. The ID Tech Expo show has been going year on year and growing each year. And it does so because we believe it covers the entire value chain in different industries. So firstly, from materials and manufacturing and component point of view, the sorts of themes we particularly focus on are energy storage, graphene and 2D materials, printed electronics and sensors. And then, of course, we look at industries. What are the problems that are occurring and the change that's occurring in different industries where science-based innovation is needed to resolve those, grow market shares, and differentiate products? And in particular, at this event, we focus on industry verticals, including electric vehicles, healthcare, IoT, and wearables. So in total, this is a huge show. And as you can see, the entire supply chains come together. We'll be having over 3,500 attendees, uh, alongside over 250 presentations uh, in an exhibition with over 270 exhibitors, all in all with people coming from 60 countries around the world. So truly international, where you can see many different technologies under one roof. So let's have a look at a bit more detail as you perhaps consider uh, potentially attending the event. This is the trade show floor, which is now almost completely sold out, and we have about five weeks to go to the event. There's still a few places left if uh, you're interested. But at this point, we have a record number of platinum sponsors, gold sponsors, and silver sponsors this year, in addition to many other exhibitors. And we're seeing exhibitors come back year on year as they see the value of returning and the payback of exhibiting. And, um, and of course, we get new ones as the event grows and word gets out there about all the things you could see in one location, making it very time effective and cost effective for you to attend. So these are just some of the key news highlights that we have seen. Many companies upgrading their booth, um, having much larger booth builds. We have a number of pavilions, which I'll come to shortly. Some of those are now sold out, um, and those remaining have a few spaces left. But as you can see, we're very excited about it, as are our exhibitors who are looking forward to network and ultimately do business um, and sell their products to the right partners in the right sorts of companies they're targeting. So let's have a look at some of the highlights of the exhibition. In addition to meeting over 270 exhibitors, we'll be showcasing the full range of components, materials, manufacturing processes, and systems that are coming through related to those core technology areas that we cover. Exhibition highlights include everything from award ceremony, demonstration street, which takes you beyond the PowerPoint that you'll hear in the conference to actually see these things working and happening and get your hands on them. Um, in addition to uh, things like a matchmaking service, because we recognize it's a key value in attending events. We also cover progress from the academic side, and our Launchpad initiative brings together 12 companies, and we had dozens of companies apply for this, and we selected the best 12 based on a panel of judges looking at each company. And these are all very early stage companies, and we wanted to really bring them into the show as part of its theme of showcasing the newest um, and the most compelling technologies. And these companies will be showing new products, many of them exhibiting and demonstrating their products or prototypes for the first time. So if you do come along, make sure you head towards that launch pad. In addition, we have many pavilions. Some are new um, and some have grown considerably versus 2018. Here are a few examples of some of the pavilions we have. We have one dedicated to additive electronics, um, particularly around 3D print electronics. The whole form factor of electronics is shifting away from flat circuit boards to flexible, stretchable, structural electronics, and that's part of the focus of Additive Electronics Street, in addition to Demonstration Street with many other demonstrations. We also have a pavilion that's territorial from Canada, for example, pavilions related to verticals such as healthcare sensor innovations, which brings together those companies working on that aspect. It doesn't stop there, we have much more. We have a pavilion dedicated to graphene. I do now believe that our graphene conference program and exhibition is the largest in North America covering graphene. It's where all the major graphene companies are coming, and it's because they're not just 
meeting with peers, they are also meeting those end users from energy storage, from wearable, from IoT, from flexible electronics, and so on. And so we have headline sponsors like LG, for example, who are part of that graphene pavilion. Another very successful and very large pavilion is all concerned with RFID, part of the IoT track. Here you'll have many organizations being supported by the association from RAIN, which is part of the AIM association, who will be covering their activities and their progress with RFID in relation to the Internet of Things and how that's connecting different things and solving big problems within industry. So do come along to take a look at that um, entire pavilion landscape we have coming along there. In addition, we are also very keen at IDTechX to highlight smaller companies because some of these will be the billion dollar successes in the future. We think they've got some very interesting technologies. Of course, there's so much going on with technology development around the world, particularly in the space that this event looks at, which is the, the hottest technologies which solves the biggest problems in different vertical industries. And therefore, new this year, we're creating the Innovation Pavilion. This is for small stage companies um, who may not be able to get the bigger boost right now, but appreciate getting in front of those three and a half thousand attendees, many C-level executives who are looking to um, learn the latest and see what's coming through and differentiate their products. We then also have the exhibition theater in the um, exhibition track. So for those who just want to attend the exhibition only, which is uh, just $150 for two days, which includes your food, lunches, it includes drink, it includes access to that exhibition and all the pavilions. Um, you can also hear in the exhibition theatre um, different presentations from different organisations. We have over 20 different organisations presenting in the exhibition theatre. Sessions include flexible and structural electronics, uh, manufacturing materials, graphene, wearable systems and IoT, for example. We also have panel discussions around women in STEM. And in relation to, again, you know, part of the, the focus of the event, which is showcasing opportunities, we have a panel discussion looking at the change that's going on in China and how companies can profit from that by supplying appropriate services and technologies and really addressing what is needed along with um, the, um, the, sort of the more political landscape in terms of um, government trends and the sorts of industries they're backing there. So if we look at the attendee profile, ID TechX is expecting over three and a half thousand attendees. Those are unique attendees. It's truly a very large show and a very international show, as you can see, with those attendees coming from 60 countries based in the heart of Silicon Valley. It's a brilliant split, I think, between the attendees. The data here is from 2018 on the right, showing how many attendees come from different types of organizations through the value chain very well balanced and so if you're a materials company um, you can meet your direct customers who for example are component companies but you can also meet with the OEMs the end users and integrators to find out what are their problems and therefore what materials you can supply to address those challenges Similarly, if you're an end user integrator, you can see the new materials and components coming through, which will allow you to differentiate your products. So if you're a product marketing manager, um, business development person, um, looking at products and new growth opportunities, then um, please consider this event and take a look at the website, idtechx.com slash USA for more details. In addition to all those companies and all those exciting things happening on the trade show floor, you'll be hearing from some of the biggest companies in the world about what they're doing with these technologies. This is not a peer review technical conference with competitors talking to each other. This whole event um, developed by analysts at ID TechX is very market led. And what we try to do is we have um, large companies talk about their industries, what's going on in fast-moving consumer goods, in consumer electronics, in automotive, in aerospace, and so on. And what are the problems and challenges with that industry, and therefore what are the requirements they need in new technologies coming through to solve those. So if you're looking for that voice of customer input, that reality check, then that's what our conference program is geared towards. And these are just some of the many companies that we're presenting. And in addition, of course, we have many more presenting and many more in attendance. And so many of our exhibitors will have the chance to meet with these organizations and ultimately get their ROI from coming by doing business with these companies. This is also a learning platform. So while the main event at the Santa Clara Convention Center is between November 20th to 21st, we also have masterclasses, which are the day before on November 19th, 
and the day after on November 22. And these masterclasses are delivered by ID Tech X analysts who are really experts in their fields in all these areas. They spend um, their, their time going to companies, doing primary research, interviewing them, site visits globally, and they pull this all together to look at what is the market, what are the different technology options, and they appraise them and digest that information for you. So these are very time-effective, cost-effective ways to receive a huge amount of business intelligence around each of these areas. Each of these masterclasses is two and a half hours. There's a huge amount of detail, very intense. Uh, but I think for the people that attend, the feedback has just been phenomenal on these uh, because it's a very rapid, cost-effective, time-effective way to get this huge amount of data, which includes key players, progress, appraisal of technologies, case studies, forecasts, and the roadmap of these things going wow. forward. So they cover pretty much all the topics that we cover at the event, from flexible electronics to 5G to materials to electric vehicle components to electronic skin patches and much more. Take a look at the website, idtechx.com forward slash USA for more information. And then layered with that, we recognize that at least half of the reason for coming to an event, um, at least if you're like me going to other events, is that you want to meet people and do business. And so um, we recognize in events that at this scale, it can be quite difficult to meet the right people you're looking for. And that's why for the second year running, we are now uh, funding um, for all our attendees um, a free system, if you're an attendee, um, which is a matchmaking service. So using a third party company who we've been working with for a number of years now, um, that uh, you will just send a quick survey about what you do and what you're looking for and based on responses from other people you can have many or as many one-to-one -one meetings as you like during the show in this dedicated matchmaking area so this has proved incredibly successful and it allows companies to really you know not just learn from the event and meet the exhibitors there and see what's happening but you know go to that next step we don't want attendees to go home from the event and it's you know, just been another event. Um, our really aim is to create such a useful experience and event for our customers attending it, um, that you event and you uh, action, you know, you can do business and follow up because you've made the contacts that you're looking to make. So don't just take our word for it. We've got fantastic feedback. Um, it's one of the reasons why this event grows year on year. ID Tech X is a 20 year old company and we focus on assessing new technologies and how companies can profit from them. Whether you're an end user looking to differentiate using these new capabilities coming through or you're developing one of these technologies and need guidance on which markets to target and the challenges and opportunities involved in each. And this approach, uh, also alongside our events, to look at the technologies, but most importantly, you get that voice of customer feedback, has resulted in, I think, a fairly unique event proposition and one that's been successful, um, which has been shown by its growth. So take a look at our website, idtechx.com slash USA, and um, if it's of interest to you, there's many ways you can get involved in the show. As I mentioned, entry starts from just $150, and that's just an exhibition pass, but it gives you access to the entire exhibition, uh, the exhibition theater, which is over 20 presentations, in addition to having your lunches covered, and all those networking opportunities, including access to the matchmaking session, and if you want to access those 270 plus speakers, we also have offers um, about attending the conference. So take a look at the website to sign up. So we hope you consider it and we hope to see you there and we look forward to engaging with you and helping companies within these ecosystems um, from um, succeeding and moving forward, solving big challenges around the world. Thank you.